Hey guys, Jim Stargazer here again, coming with you another video. Um, if you guys have been following my little series right now, I've been unboxing a bunch of new equipment that I got. Uh, the Martin Logan speakers, um, the um, Anthem amp. Um, and today I'm gonna, I'm gonna open up and unbox for you guys this um, uh, Infinity AC10 uh, T10 uh, a component cooler. Um, so I'm going to use this for my Anthem MCA525 uh, to keep it cool. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and open this up for you uh, so you guys can take a look. So this is going to go on top of the equipment. Um, this is one doesn't need to have, uh, this one doesn't need to be connected to the uh, 12 volt um, um, uh, trigger. Uh, this one is automatic where it's, you set the temperature on it and it will cool it down and keep it at that temperature. So um, I already got one on my um, Ember X1140 and it's working out great. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and open up this bad boy, um, show you guys, and we'll put it together and put it on the rack. And then you guys can see it working. So give me a minute while I get set up. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and start unboxing this guy. Um, should start to show you guys. Uh, it's a nice, it's a nice um, component uh, piece of equipment, guys. It's, I mean, it's working really great for my 1140, um, and so it's gonna. I'm, I'm pretty thinking it's gonna work out great for my new 525. So here it is here. So let me, let me pull it up, and show you guys. So it's coming out here. This packaging. And it comes with this, uh, just a little component card. Tells you what components they have, products, I mean. Um, and then, it just, it's very simple. Comes with a simple power cord. Um, it's really simple to use. Just plug it in, set the temperature. Um, you set the temperature on it. And uh, it remembers. <laughs> and then it keeps it at that temperature. Um, and so, 80 degrees is what um, I was reading. They're recommending to keep the equipment running. Uh, anything above that, you start losing life out of it. So, uh, here, let me put the camera down for a second. So you can open, open it up. So, you can see, yeah, the front here tells you the temperature of it and temperature you want to set it to. This is a front blowing one. So what it does is you put it on top here. Um, you put it on top of the equipment and the fan suck the air through. Um, and it sucks through the equipment and it blows out the front right here. So um, yeah, this is a pretty simple unboxing. It's not much to it. Nothing on the back. Uh, so here, I'll show you guys what it looks like. Uh, so don't mind my mess in here. I'm still going through all the cables and stuff. It was a lot of wires to connect this bad boy. So, uh, yeah, so here it is right here. Um, right here, you can see, like I said, it's pretty simple. Um, on the left where it says 80 degrees, that's the temperature that I set it to. Uh, and you can see on the right side is the actual temperature. Um, and it's set to auto. So you can set here, you can set temperature here, 80, 79, like I said. Um, haven't really gone through um, all of it. So I got it set to auto, but it's got smart. So um, I think I'm gonna leave it on smart this time. And you got eco mode, but we don't care about eco mode so, eco mode so much here. Cause you wanna protect your equipment. And uh, I'm gonna put it on here. I'm gonna put it at the top of my new 525 Anthem I just got. I'm gonna put it on top of here because I can feel the heat already. Yeah, and uh, it's working, guys. So um, I had set this to 90 degrees just to test it, and um, th this thing get the got to 90 degrees, and it turned on the the uh, cooler turned on, and it cooled it down. It kept it at 90. Then I put it at 85, and it heats up to 85, and it cools to 85. So now I got it at 80. Um, it's at 82 right now, I and mean, I was just playing a lot of music for the past hour um, uh, through this guy. But it's more on this amp, this guy here, 
he's the one that's really been driving it so i gotta really really gotta cool him down that's why i figure i should open it real quick but um yeah it works guys the it worked out really good so far it's a great product um i'm glad i got it so i just wanted to show you guys so i'm gonna go ahead and get it plugged in uh and going so yeah thanks for watching guys thanks for watching the video uh don't forget to like and subscribe um i'm gonna go ahead and plug him in um just wanted to drop this video just so you guys can see certain things we should be buying and this is one of them um to preserve our equipment especially uh when you get higher end equipment like this it, it costs a lot more so um yeah i'm gonna be making some more videos here i'm gonna post some more videos of the performance i've been tuning everything um the anthem is doing a really good job um with uh uh syncing up these esls so i got these esl nines right here and uh the anthem is doing a really good job with syncing them up with the seat and f18s i got here as well as the rel 1508s um but i'm not liking the rel 1508s as much anymore uh since i got the martin logan because the martin logan are so much tighter base the dual eights um, and then I noticed that the Setons are much better also than the Rel 1508s. Um, so I'm, I'm kind of like <laughs> debating on selling the Rel now and uh, keeping the, only the Setons. So um, yeah, so uh, thanks guys for watching the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, see you on the next video.